Are you trying to put on a little weight? Yeah, I tried. I can tell. I saw some pictures. I think you are bigger. Are you yeah, bigger? Yes, I'm bigger. A few kilos. Two, uh, three. Two, three. 80 kilos. How much is in? 80. Pounds? Holy shit. Uh, well, 77 kilos is 170. So you're like 175 or something. Nice. I always thought you could make featherweight. No, 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 no. No more, but if you're you're that big now, then no way. No. 155 is enough, right enough for me. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not. 145 is on the That's yeah. a feather. Yeah. I thought you and Connor sometime. That'd be a nice showdown. Anytime, anywhere. <laughs> I swear, I hate this guy so much. <laughs> Would you make, yeah. you can make 145 for one one hour, step on the scale, and then you could... You can fight him. You can For sure. Okay. Just give me a call. If you have to give me a call, yeah. I take it right away. The money way. The money way. The money way, yeah. <laughs> well, I swear I can fight free. You fight for free? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this guy, wow. Why, why don't you like him? I think he's got the confidence like you. He kind of, he talks and then he, he steps up. I saw something that this guy, he jumped over uh, on the octagon. Came right away to Jose Aldo, and Jose Aldo was with his wife and kids. Hey man, that made me so upset because in the fighting world, every world you have some rules, and you need to follow those rules. You don't go to somebody when they are with their wife and kids and family. You know what I mean? You don't trash talk when Jose Aldo has his kid with him. So I didn't like it, so, yeah. Okay, so that's the main, yeah, the main reason, uh, crossed the well, line. Yeah, crossed the line was too much, disrespect him too much. But of course, otherwise everything else, I think this guy is great. Everything's perfect. I mean, honestly, he's one of kind. But still you should keep some, rules and stuff it's my opinion yeah, well, uh, talking about the personal life i think uh, many of us in sweden we saw your documentary yes uh, it was fascinating we got to see your personal life we got to see your wife we got to see yeah. your child and your second child is going to be delivered what's been the reaction to those that have seen the movie uh, if you have time i can show you uh, i get a lot of messages especially on instagram people send it private from, to me and the people you never, never even, I mean, you can even imagine those guys gonna watch your documentary or show those some uh, reaction or write something for you. I mean, uh, the woman 50 years old or guy 60 years old from north of Sweden and was with s s such a love and uh, a lot of respect because People always, they see one side of you. The way in, when you file, where the newspaper write about you, but they don't know your, actually your personality or what you have kind of uh, uh, guy. And that document there is the first time and last time uh, it's gonna happen in my life. So I, I really wanna show the, uh, the truth about myself. I let them come to my family, see my family, uh, you know, everything. Because it was so much bullshit about me. Um, I was so tired of, uh, about all the bullshit, uh, all the stuff people said, and they didn't have any reason about them. Honestly, I don't care. But still, because I have a kid, I thought it's important to show them the real mad dog in the future for my kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. But otherwise, sorry my language. I swear, I don't give a fuck what people say, what people think. I always gonna go my own way. One of my favorite uh, moments from that is they actually captured on film uh, when they told you you got your UFC contract and they surprised you with uh, balloons. I, I guess even when I heard the news, 
for me, I was really like, really, really? Yeah. Like, I mean, are you still like in disbelief? You're in this position, you're still with the UFC, you're back there. I mean, it was the moment I never, never gonna forget. Because I don't know if you heard about it, they say the end of the darkness is always some light. And I try to keep going, tell myself, uh, Reza, the end of darkness is going to be something, something. But you know, in two years, it was just darkness, darkness, no lights. So what the fuck is the, <laughs> the lights? And you know that day when they knock on my door and they said, yeah, you are in, you are back. It was, you know, huge. It was like a, something is released. They say, I uh, released from my shoulder ball. <gasps> yes, finally, I'm back. And that night, I remember like it was one minute ago. I couldn't sleep. I tried to hit myself. <laughs> I am awake. Is that true? Wow. You got back in the cage at uh, 15 minutes, uh, got in a, a full fight uh, with Norman Park. It didn't go your way. Were there some things that you liked about that fight? or uh, I mean, with the distance you lost, but um, I mean, you didn't, it didn't look like you got tired. It looked like, I don't know how much ring rust you had, but are there any positives from that fight or do you look back with just a negative light? No, you know, it's the, my philosophy in my life. I always say the last is the bridge between victory if you want to catch the victory you need to last to get experience to bring something from the bad from the negative stuff and it was the same i get really depressed after that fight it was really really bad hard time and you see on my documentary i say i don't know why is everything should be against me all the time uh, i came really prepared for that fight I trained maybe eight months. I swear I was every day at the gym two, three times. Did absolutely my best. Everything my power. But still, you know, that's the fight. What you do for that moment is gonna be the result. Uh, you know me and Norman Park had a lot of trash talk. And you know, in the end, it was awesome guy. Uh, I'm awesome guy too, <laughs> but you know that's the way. But yeah, you always get some uh, experience. Even it was negative, but let's see what's happening next fight. Yeah, is there some? They've just uh, announced a couple of European shows: uh, Croatia, Holland. Are yeah. those the ones you're targeting? Is the UFC have a master plan or a match for you? I don't know. I know they want to come to uh, Croatia and uh, Rotterdam or Holland. And uh, like always, I don't want to play. Yeah, I'm one call from fight, but it's what I do, what I love. Uh, so if they give me a call today, I'm ready tomorrow. So I don't know anything yet, but hopefully they want to call me. Let's see. Well, great, Reza. It's always great uh, catching up with you and uh, seeing you in this positive light. And uh, we hope to see you back in the cage soon. I hope so. And always nice to talk to you. And you are the only Swedish uh, page or MMA news I talk to. So it's... Exclusive interview yeah, with Reza Madassa. Exclusive <laughs> for you guys. Thanks, always. Reza. You're welcome. Have a nice day, brother.